guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be doing another Christmas haul with me. I'm going to be showing you everything that I have picked up recently. And I am so excited to share with you guys. I went to multiple stores. So let's start off with Kirkland's. So from Kirkland's, and I'm sorry if you guys see a glare on my glasses. Um, I don't know what's going on. But from Kirkland's, I found these really beautiful Christmas ornaments. They're brown. They do have like a little ball here. Um, I think that they are gorgeous and beautiful. They're kind of like that paper material. A lot of the stuff was actually on sale. I will link everything down below. This was $7.99, but obviously I got it for a different price. So I ended up picking up four of these and they are just so beautiful. They're like that deep chocolatey brown. From Kirkland's, I also ended up picking the Northfolk Garland. It is so pretty and realistic looking. I did end up getting two of these. One is new and is pre-lit and then the other one is not. I wanted to know the difference because I've been seeing all over that there's a hype for these. And I was just like, you know what? Let me try. Let me see what all the hype is about. So let's um, turn this bad boy on. So you do need to put three AA batteries, but this is what it looks like on. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Okay, so this is how it looks like on. So just for a comparison, this is the one lit and then this one is the one that's not lit. But it is so pretty. So the next door is Joann's. So at Joann's, I ended up picking up two of these ornaments. They're kind of like that shatter material. But here's how they look. I don't know if the camera's picking it up like literally, but I promise you it's not. It's more like a shatter effect. There is there's a tiny little bit of glitter, but it's not so glittery, but it is so stunning. And again, I picked up two of these. So from a floral, I ended up picking up these Northfolk stems. And they were a little bit on the pricier side, but I did get them on sale. I did get one, two, three, four. And I thought they would look so pretty. And they're really full too. Like, this is what they look like, just four. I think that they would look so pretty in a vase. So definitely excited about these. So the next store that I went to is Target. So I ended up picking up these ornaments from Target. Did buy two boxes and I'll show you the ones that I ended up taking out. So these are the cream color. This is like a light brown color. And then the next color are like these deep brown. And again, this is not the actual color. Once I go over here, they're more like a darker color. And side by side, this is how they look. So the next thing that I got are this little Christmas ornament. And it also had a bigger one, so I ended up picking up two of these. So this one did originally cost $10, a little bit pricey in my opinion. And then this one ended up costing $20. And this is how they look side by side. If you guys are wondering about the texture, it is ceramic. So the next one that I ended up getting is this one too. It's really pretty. Let me show you side by side. It's a little bit darker than this one. I would say this one's more cream and this one's more tan. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but they're definitely two different colors. So the next store that I went to is Pottery Barn and I got this beautiful bell and it smells so good. It smells like, like pine. That's what it reminds me of. It's so pretty, it's gold. It has like this little knob on top. The next that I ended up getting are these bells. I think it's tangled. But it's these bells and they have like that rustic look to it. I was thinking about putting it in the entryway like by the wreath. So next is Hobby Lobby. And what I ended up picking are these stems. They're really pretty. I was thinking about putting them in a vase. They did cost $3.99, but I did get it for 50% off. I ended up picking up four of these. I also ended up picking another kind of stem and I ended up picking up four of these as well. This one has like a little pine cone here. This is what they look like all bunched together. I was thinking about putting it in a really nice bowl with some ornaments on top or some pine cones. I don't know yet, but it's going to look really pretty. The next thing that I ended up picking up are these ornaments. They have a lot of texture and one is more, so I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but one is more gold. This one's more gold and this one's more silver. I, unfortunately, these were the only two that I could find. They're going to look so pretty on the Christmas tree. So the next thing that I ended up picking up is this big shattered ornament. I ended up, this is the only one that I was able to find. And then I also ended up picking up the little one. I did ended up picking up the little one in my last video. So I was super happy that I was able to find the big one. Unfortunately, this is the only one. But I was so happy to get my hands on these because these are gorgeous. Next thing that I ended up picking up are these ribbons and I was thinking about adding ribbons to the tree so I ended up picking up this cream color this like mustardy yellow and then this brown color they're all velvet they are so pretty the next thing that I ended up picking were these bells from Hobby Lobby 
They are so pretty. They're like this gold material, but I am so happy. I finally found these. These always go out of stock, but finally found them. I ended up picking up 10 of these and it's going to look so pretty everywhere in the house. So the next store is Amazon and I ended up picking up this chocolatey ribbon. Um, it's really big compared to the one that I bought from Hobby Lobby, but it's going to look so pretty everywhere around the house. I am planning to make little bows with it. I also ended up getting this wrapping paper. I wanted a contrast and I'll insert a picture here of what my goal is for the wrapping this year, for how the presents are gonna look like this year. That's the vibe that I was going for, but with a different color. And I think the contrast between them is going to look really pretty. Now this is a little bit darker. See, I don't know why I have to, like, once I go here, it's like really light. But then once I go back here, it's like really kind of dark. So as you can see, it's going to look so pretty. Okay, so the next store that I went to was at home and I ended up picking up this really cute gingerbread house. I think it's so gorgeous. Kind of reminds me of what's going on with Pottery Barn with all the gingerbread houses, but it is so pretty. It's very, very detailed and originally I wasn't going to get anything gingerbread, but I don't know, when I saw this, I was like, ooh, let's show you guys what it looks. See how pretty it looks? It's like lighted up, it's so cute. I don't have any Santa, so I ended up picking up this really, really cute Santa. And then the next thing that I ended up getting is this candle. And let me tell you, this smells like Christmas. It is chocolate chip cookies. It has like a little wick here. It is so cute and it smells so good to the point where that I even went back for a second one because it's that good. And I'm not, I'm a big candle fan, but not to the point where I would go back and buy another one. But this one, I had to get like more because it's so pretty and it smells so good. And then I was thinking I could put it next to the gingerbread house and it would look so cute. Okay, and from Michael's, like I was saying earlier, these are the ribbons that I picked up. It's This is like a white color, like a deep red wine, and then like a mustardy color, but like on the deeper side compared to the other one. So I definitely wanted some different textures as well as I definitely wanted some different shades just to play around with it, but that's what I ended up getting there. Now at Home Goods, I ended up picking up this really, really cute Martha Stewart collection, little three meaning houses. They kind of remind me of the one from Party Barn. They do light up and I was thinking about putting it in the entryway or just somewhere with shelves. I think it would look really pretty. This is how they look like, kind of like that ceramic texture. They're so gorgeous and each house is different. I also ended up picking up this really, really cute rustic bell. It does have a little bit of like a deeper tones to it compared to the ones that Hobby Lobby has. Okay, and then the last thing that I ended up getting from Home Goods is this tree trunk. I don't even know if I could fit this in here. Okay guys, this is the end of the video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you guys have an amazing day.